Hey guys, welcome to more Maps with Melf. If you're finding these videos useful and you haven't already, then please do get subscribed to the channel. Also, don't forget to give this video a cheeky little like and share around with your friends. I love hearing from you guys, so please do leave a comment letting me know how you're getting on. And if you have any requests, then leave me a comment. Without further ado, let's get cracking. Hey guys, so here we've got what I believe to be quite a tricky circle theorem problem. It involves two circles, a tangent, and some other stuff. So, N, M, and T are points on the circumference of circle C1. R, S, T is a tangent to C1. C2 is a circle that passes through the centre of C1 and points S and M. Our job here is to prove that S, M is not a tangent, sorry, not a diameter of a circle C2. So, pause the video, have a go, see if you can figure it out, then come back, press play, see how you get on. Okay, so where do we start? We start by filling in any blanks that we can. So, here in C1, we have a triangle whose three vertices are on the circumference of the circle and one sits on the tangent. Now, when we've got this set up, we can use what's called the alternate segment theorem. So, the alternate segment theorem tells us this 48 degree angle here is equal to this angle up here at point N. So point N is also 48 degrees. Cool. Now there aren't really any other blanks we can fill in here. Now we have to be a little bit sneaky. What else can we do? Well, we know that O is the centre of circle C1. So what we can do is draw a straight line from O out to point M and down to point S. So, something like that and something like that. Now we know these two lines are both going to be the same length because they are a radius of the, the circle. So, put a little dash on them to show that. Now, what we've just created inside of circle C1, we now have an arrowhead shape. So, now we use the theorem that if we have a, uh, an angle uh, at the circumference of the circle, then it's half the angle at the centre of the circle. So, 48 is half of this angle here. So that angle there is going to be 2 times 48. 2 times 48 is 96. So that angle is now 96 degrees. Now our proof that uh, this um, is not a tangent actually comes straight from this. So one of our other circle theorems tells us when two chords come off the end of a diameter and meet on the circumference, then they meet at right angles. So each of these green lines here is a chord coming off of the line SM. They meet on the circumference at 96 degrees, which is not a right angle. So SM is not a diameter. Jobs are good. Till next time, guys. Take care.